Welcome back to The Late Show. I'm so happy to have my first guest tonight. He is a hilarious comedian you know from Broadway's Oh Hello. He's now on his kid gorgeous comedy tour. Please welcome John Mulaney. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the third time? This is the third time I've been here. Is this the third here. time? Yeah. yeah. Well, I have third time's a charm. That's what they say. We'll get it this time. Yeah, we'll be charming this time. Now, uh, that's a lovely jacket. Velvet? Yeah, this is black velvet. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this collected a lot of stuff backstage, but they rolled me uh, off with uh, tape, and then I walked out, and now I'm on TV. Yeah. <laughs> so we know it's the change of the seasons when you can bring the black velvet out. Absolutely. Yeah. That's an old Mel Torme line, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's the change of the seasons when you can bring the old velvet out. Well, you've, uh, super busy. You're super busy, no surprise there, a young, talented I've, man like you. That's nice of you to say. I've been on tour, uh, since May, pretty much, and now we're getting into, like, gone every night, so it's What do you mean, gone every night? Gone on the road all the time. Oh, but not, not gone for a long period of time. You don't come home every night. You go on the road, and then your daddy's just gone. Uh... I don't say daddy's gone. That upsets people, but... Uh... but are, do you have children? <laughs> no, I have a dog, though. Then you should not say daddy's gone. No, <laughs> no be one weird should. If you said to your wife, daddy's gone. Daddy's gone, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, daddy's home, at least you're physically there, so you can deal with the aftermath of, like, what, the, what, what did you just say? <laughs> um, yeah, we've been gone. Uh, we, I... Uh, have been traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. And that's why I don't know my articles or pronouns. <laughs> well, uh, so it's, ca it's called Kid Gorgeous? The tour. Are you Kid Gorgeous? I don't know. It's just a name. I kept reading names to my wife at a restaurant until she laughed, and that was the one she went with. Uh, she laughed a lot at Kid Gorgeous, and I was like, I guess it has to be that. Uh, I like old-fashioned things, and Kid Gorgeous is, so, seems Kid like Gorgeous Kid Gorgeous sounds like you're like a middleweight boxer. Yes. Yeah, yes. he was famous for never having his nose broken. Yes. He's there, Kid Gorgeous. There was a Mo on The Simpsons wa was Kid Gorgeous, then he was Kid Presentable. Uh, <laughs> and I thought I wanted it to be called Kid Charlemagne after the Steely Dan song, but sure. everyone in my life warned me against that, uh, saying that that would be lost on people and uh, not be an effective tour name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whereas Kid Gorgeous has resonance all across People America. People like vanity, yeah. <laughs> well, you've, uh, you're coming back to New York uh, for a four nights at Radio City, totally sold out. Four shows sold out, yeah, and we're adding a fifth now. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much. That's great. Have you played Radio City before? I've never played Radio City. Extraordinary. Extraordinary house. Extraordinary place. I want to rest before it. I'm getting a little fried on this tour, but it's uh -huh. going to be an amazing... Uh, like what? Like what kind of what kind of rest do you need? I need. So I took a vacation with my wife Anna. Uh, I'd been gone for about twelve nights, and we went to a farm to relax in Connecticut. Oh, okay. And it was. Uh, we got there, and is that uh, what this is? I've got. Someone gave me photos before you came. Oh here. Is yeah, that what yeah. This is? I'll I'll show you that in a moment. Okay. I had a bit of a nervous breakdown while I was at the farm. Um, oh, okay. So I get. I land from San Francisco. We get a rental car and we drive to Connecticut. And uh, we get there, and I'm really exhausted, and I'm feeling just sort of existentially insane. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to hold it together. Sure. And then the, <laughs> and then the current president tweeted something like, uh, uh, no talks with North Korea, you know what that means. And I was like, that's not helping my situation. <laughs> that was that weekend he did that. So I was out walking with my dog trying to calm down, and I saw a, 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 a gaggle of geese. Yeah, a gaggle of a geese. A gaggle of geese. Yes. And I ran towards them, and they flew away, and it was very amusing. So then, uh, later on in the afternoon, the geese are back, and I have the dog again. I say to my wife, check this out. And I run towards the geese, and they hold their ground. <laughs> and one of them looks at me and opens his mouth, and he had this light pink mouth. And he went like, <sighs> And like caveman DNA in me knew, like, get out of here right now. <laughs> like, the, like some old ancestor ran at some pterodactyls, and it wasn't good, and... This was like that. It was like, these are dinosaurs. Like, get out of here right now. And I ran across the, the creek, and I said to my wife, those geese weren't messing around, you know? And you know how you say that to your wife? And yeah. <laughs> yeah. she said, what the, what the hell were you doing? Geese attack people. She's like, you're such a city boy. I was like, I didn't know geese attack people. She was like, yeah. She said, my brother was attacked by a swan. 
So later on in the evening... It's not the same as a goose. Not as same not, as a goose, but you goose. expect more of a swan because it's more cosmopolitan. They're... they're... They're glamorous. They're glamorous, They're yeah. Glamorous. We yeah. hold them to a higher degree. It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting, okay. Uh -huh. So I, this was like fatigue, and I'm also trying to hold it together in front of my wife. I didn't right. tell her about the nuclear war stuff. Yeah, as yeah, if yeah. she as if I'm the only one with a newspaper, you know? I was like, yes. I'll hide this. So then uh, I'm staring out the window, my dog jumps into my lap. It's a nice moment. My wife takes a photo of it. We look at the photo, it's sweet. This is it? I go to this get dressed. Photo? Can I yeah. show the photo? Yeah, well, one second. Uh, but uh, <laughs> no, I don't mean to interrupt your flow. I just wanted you to know that we took a photo, we look at it, then I leave the room, then we come back and look at it again, and there's a green spot that we never saw right there uh, where my wedding band meets my dog's stomach. I got a, I got a close up right here. And I said, What the hell is that? We zoom in, push in. And it looks like the moon through the trees. And I said, what is that? And as soon as I said, what is that, some voice in me that warned me about the geese went, you know it's a ghost. <laughs> so... Imagine for a moment that a green orb appears on your dog in a photo. That very much looks like the moon through the trees. And imagine you're exhausted. You can imagine how you'd leap to ghost. Sure. <laughs> Have you never seen a ghost? I don't think so. I mean, I don't you think know. so. I think so. I mean, I think this place might be haunted. Yes, theaters are haunted. That was also Frequently the thing. haunted. Yeah, I'd been on the road, and I'm doing theaters there, like, from 1900, 1910, and I'd been, you know, very cavalier about ghosts. I'd go, is this place haunted? And we'd laugh about the ghosts that lived there. So I felt... Uh, that they, I had a comment in some way. A haunting of sorts. Well, well theaters, like, famously have ghosts. Like, theaters have what's called ghost lights to keep the yes. ghost in on purpose. And if you ask, if you go to an old theater, just ask the stagehands, like, so, is there a ghost here? You know, and they'll be like, there's a ghost. I did a theater in Kansas City called the Midlands, and I asked if there was a ghost. And they said the janitor was killed there in, like, 1910, and he still haunts the lobby. And I said, what does he do? And they said, we see him uh, sweeping up. And I said, well, that's double terrible. <laughs> that he's stuck between realms. And that he still has to clean the lobby. <laughs> It'd be nice if they were like, we saw him applying for a new position. Then we, <laughs> then we saw him managing the lobby. Yeah. I know there's a ghost in this building because sometimes, like, even during the show, like, a guest will be sitting right there, and I'll hear this voice coming from the guest going, I wish Dave was still here. <laughs> That's probably something Dave yeah. planted. Yeah, 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 probably. So I'm, I, I saw that, and uh, I'd been trying to hold it together all day. Wait, wait, <laughs> this just, just today? No, 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 that day at the farm. Oh, okay. I push in on the photo, and I go, tell me that doesn't look like the moon through the trees. And my wife's like, are you okay? <laughs> and I said, I think we need to leave right now. No, you didn't. I did, yeah. You can't get your deposit back because you think you saw a ghost? No, you cannot. But it was already dark, on the farm roads, and I was like, if this were a movie, would it be a good idea to drive out in the dark? <laughs> and also, I didn't want to say too loud what my plan was, in case the ghosts were listening. <laughs> were the ghosts, I'm sad to were say... Were the ghosts <laughs> saying anything? Or was it you getting, were you getting voices in your head, anything like that? She doesn't understand you. She's, a, she's your enemy. Do something. Oh, no. Like one of those, like, shining kind of Like things? I was possessed, because I was assuming my dog was possessed. I think you probably had, like, some schmutz on your camera. We had... What it turned out to be was lens flare. Uh, we looked it up, and on, like, uh, I won't say what brand of phone, but it's an iPhone. And <laughs> they have... It's a common thing where you get these green dots, and that's the reflection of okay. the sun coming through the trees and the oh. window pane behind me. Oh, all right. Now, if you saw this glowing ball on your dog not on camera... Yeah. That would be something to be upset about. I would just bow down in front of her and be like, I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> hey, you know what I really like? What's that? Big Mouth. Thank you the very much. The show that you're doing with Nick Kroll, this is an our friend uh, also of the show over This is here. a wonderful animated show on Netflix that uh, Nick Kroll and Andrew Goldberg, mm -hmm. uh, his friend from childhood, created. Mm -hmm. And uh, You I, play Andrew. I play Andrew, yeah. yeah. I'm one of his good friends now in adult life, and I play one, his best friend in childhood. And it's about... Uh, Kids going through puberty. Yes. In very funny and very honest, harrowing ways. Yeah. I, puberty is very upsetting. 
Yes, it feels, it's sort of a magical realist, nightmarish scape, uh, puberty comedy. Yes. <laughs> and Animated, I think yeah. it's how, it's how, uh, it's how puberty feels in a, yeah. in a lot of ways. Did you, you, were you go to Catholic schools? Growing yeah, up? Yeah, only exclusively Exclusively, Jesuit schools, okay, yeah. Jesuit schools, okay. So yeah. those, those, they teach you good. But did they teach you, like, about sex? Did you have, like, puberty, like, health class or anything like that? We had health class. Did um, they go through the birds We did the sort of a miracle of life on the please don't ever have sex side of it. Okay. Um, it's a miracle that you want nothing to do with. Yeah. Um, and they said, you know, they, they were like, none of, this, none of the uh, contraceptives work, so don't try them. And, uh, well... Wow. Yeah, you know, we were kids. Uh, it's wow. uh, unfortunately had a lasting effect in the subconscious of my brain, but... Um, <laughs> they then... Uh, the big thing was they would show us the Miracle of Life video. And I've, uh, I fainted at that not one year, not two years, but three years in a row. <laughs> I hesitate to ask, what is in the Miracle of Life video that would make John Mulaney pass out? I don't know if anyone's seen it. It begins with a couple that does not look contemporary. Uh, <laughs> they're in the early 1980s or the late 1970s. And then it goes to some animation of how their tubes and different valves work. And then, uh, <laughs> then you're like watching these diagrams and you're like, all right. And then it's a hard cut to the entry of a human into the world. Of a human. Coming through the loins of their mother, which is nothing wrong with that. Of course not. Right. We've Perfectly all done natural. it. Absolutely. Even <laughs> cesarean, however you want to do it, it's all fantastic. So I would, look, I would look and I went, the first year I went, huh? And then I was on the floor. <laughs> the second year... You know it's coming. The second year I know it's coming, I go, no way am I going to flinch this time. So I stared longer. And I watched more of the opening number. <laughs> Hit the floor. The third year, people were rooting for me to faint. <laughs> and looking back. And they, they, were, they were going, he's gonna go, he's gonna faint. And I just, the pressure. I don't even know if I was watching the video. I think I had a, a panic attack because all the eyes were on me. And I fainted again. Just to, maybe just to appease them. <laughs> what a life, what a sad life to want to entertain so much that I'll collapse for you if you cheer loud enough. You're a pro. <laughs> Your kid gorgeous is what you are. Yes, yes, thank you. Nice to say, uh, John Mulaney's kid gorgeous is at Radio City Music Hall this February. John Mulaney, everybody.